Okay, we're going to talk about how to enter in your uh, bibliography, works cited information from your books, websites, interviews, and journal articles. Um, these are the different types of media that you can use to uh, research your information from. So, first off, uh, go ahead and open up Microsoft Office. This is uh, Word 2010 version. If you come over here to the reference page, you'll see just off, or reference tab, just off to the right of it there, you'll see insert citation, manage sources, styles, and bibliography. This is the citation and bibliography uh, group. First thing you want to do is select the style. If you hit the drop down arrow right there, it'll show you all the different styles that this uh, program offers and we want to stick with the MLA okay uh, come up here and click on manage sources which is the next step okay master list is what is currently on your computer current list is what you're going to add into this particular document right here so let's click on new and the type of source is the drop down right here we're going to select book for the first one and I happen to have a book right here the author is Gene Andrews so I'll put the last name first okay the title of this book is A plus guide to managing and maintaining your PC and I'm going to put here fifth edition. Okay, the year on this is 2004. The city is Boston. Massachusetts. And the publisher of this is is Thompson Course Technology. Okay, all of this information is found right on the on the uh, copyright page, the title page of your book. So you just gotta look around and see what you can find, and you're done with that. Okay, so let's hit OK. Notice that it puts it on both the master list and the current list. Okay, let's uh, add a new one here. The next one, let's jump down here and do the interview. There's our interview right there. And we'll just go on down here. The interviewee is the person you interviewed. So we're going to type in the person's last name. Okay title if they have one, if not just skip it. Uh, okay, interviewer, that is you. So put your name in there and then put down the year that you interviewed the person. And it was the tenth. <coughs> okay. So here's the day I interviewed this person. Just hit OK. Notice it adds it in here too. Okay, let's do another new one. Okay, now let's do a web page. Here's a website. Okay. Now notice every time I click on the different types of sources, different things pop up here. Okay, this uh, view that you're seeing right here is the ones that are required. If you click on show all bibliography fields, you'll see that the ones with the red stars are the ones that's required, but there's a whole lot of other ones you can put in there. Okay, so I'm just going to keep, keep that unchecked. Now let's jump over here to the web page. And let's see, we're going to go over here to Google. we're going to see what we can find. Okay, we're going to jump down here. We're going to type in education 
use of computer games, something like that. Okay, let's click on this uh, video games and education. This website pops up. All right, so we're going to look around here and. If you look down here, here's all kinds of information on the different types of games that you can be used for education purposes. Okay. Um, down here is the copyright date, 1998. Uh, it's copyrighted to uh, adultlearn.com. Alright, so let's come back over here and see what we need. I know we're going to need this title, so let's grab this title right here. Copy that. Okay, right here. So the name of the web page is that, and the year 1998. That's what we got down at the bottom of the page there. It didn't mention a month or a day, so we're going to just skip that part. Okay, but what was the date that we accessed it? Okay, the year was 2011, June. And we are on the 8th day of June. Okay, now we need a URL. Notice down here the example it tells you to put in there. Okay, so we got to jump back over here. Up here is the URL. We're going to copy that. Come back over here. And just paste that in there. Hit OK. It stuck it up here. Just like that. Okay, now let's jump back over to our web page. Another one we're going to do uh, is going to be a professional journal article. Okay, professional journal articles is what you're going to be using when you go to college. And let me just show you a little uh, trick on this one here. I'm going to hit the drop down here on. I'm on Google. You notice that? I hit the drop down under more. I'm going to come down here to Scholar. Google Scholar. This has all kinds of articles that people have written all over the world that are professional journal articles, uh, college reports, things like that. 